This week is the most important week of the year, and it will determine what happens next year, 2023, with the U.S. economy. Take a look at all that's happening this week. More importantly, on Tuesday, we have the CPI report being released. And on Wednesday, we have federal fund rates. The Federal Reserve are going to increase interest rates. What's up, everyone? It's the Portfolio Plug. In this video, I'm going to explain what the CPI report is, why it's so important, and how you can take advantage of this recession for 2023. Let's jump straight into it. The CPI report. CPI stands for Consumer Price Index, and it is used to measure the change in the price of goods and services purchased by you, me, us, the consumers. In other words, it is used to measure inflation. This report measures the rate of increases, changes in the prices for the cost of living. For example, it's going to tell you the change in prices for housing, education, medical care, food and beverages, transportation, and a lot more. So, depending on where inflation is from the result of the CPI report, it will determine how aggressive of an interest rate hike we are going to get at the start of next year, 2023. Last month, November, the results from the CPI report were good. It was better than expected. It showed that inflation decreased from 8.2% to 7.7% from the prior year. More importantly, core CPI, that's when you remove food and energy from the report in order to gauge the true underlying trend of inflation. The results from the core CPI showed that inflation fell from 0.6% to 0.3% from the prior month, which was better than expected. Given that last month's CPI report showed that inflation came down better than expected, the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell confirmed that we are going to get a moderate rate hike a less aggressive rate hike from the prior four rate hikes. We had been getting 0.75% increase in the prior rate hikes. Now you can expect to get 0.50%, a more moderate rate hike. Let me show you how big of an impact the CPI report had in the U.S. economy after showing better than expected result with inflation coming down last month. Prior to the report being released last month, the national mortgage rate was in the high sevens, about 8%, and the stock market was down about 30% year to date. Following the report being released, the S&P 500 jumped up by 5.5%, the highest single day performance since April of 2020, and the S&P 500 is only down 15% year to date, and the national mortgage rate came back down in the low 6%. Therefore, on Tuesday, if the CPI report comes out better than expected, showing that inflation have come down, expect to see a positive reaction in the stock market and with the national mortgage rates. Something to keep in mind, even though we are getting a less of an aggressive rate hike this Wednesday, inflation is still a very high above 7%, and the goal is to get it down to 2%, so we still have a very long ways to go. And the Federal Reserve Chairman, Jerome Powell, has already confirmed that we're going to get interest rate hikes all of 2023, and possibly 2024 and 2025, if inflation doesn't come down to the 2% goal. The more rate hikes we get, the deeper the recession we fall into. 90% of CEOs in the S&P 500 have already been prepping for this recession with mass layoffs and hiring freezes. For example, Amazon has laid off 10,000 employees and Meta, Facebook's parent company, has laid off 11,000 employees and other companies like Netflix, Spotify, Tesla, Ford, and a bunch more are doing the exact same thing. Even Apple and Microsoft have freezed their hiring process. Most people, when they hear the word recession, they panic and operate on fear. Even though we are in a recession, it is the best time to start building wealth to gain financial freedom. Most recessions are announced much, much later, on average six to 12 months after the recession have already started. For example, the Great Recession started in December of 2007, but it wasn't confirmed or announced until December of 2008, only a few months from it ending. By the time this recession is confirmed and announced, the U.S. economy will already be under rebound. In other words, stop waiting. Now is the perfect time to start building wealth so you can gain financial freedom. The U.S. economy has recovered from every recession, a Great Depression, and multiple global recessions. This is the perfect time to start building wealth so you can gain financial freedom. And here are three ways you can take advantage of this recession. Real quickly, I would appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you find this video to be helpful. Now, the first way you're going to take advantage of this recession is through the stock market. The U.S. stock market has recovered from every recession. In fact, seven out of the last 13 recessions, 
the stock market has produced positive returns. The deeper the recession, the greater the return. And right now, there are a lot of great companies that are at a bargain. And if you don't know what companies you should invest in or how to start investing, check out this video to learn how to build your portfolio and join my investing community via Discord. I'll leave the link below in the description. Now, the second way to take advantage of this recession is by investing in real estate. Yes, interest rates are high right now. However, rent is still 100%. So if you are in a good position and you can afford to purchase, do it. In comparison to last year, majority, if not everyone, were overpaying for these properties because of the low interest rate, regardless of what the comps were, even if it passed or failed inspection. Versus now, because of the higher interest rate, shortage of supply, and less buyers in the market, you are more likely to get a property at a bargain or at fair market value. Sellers are more flexible, more accommodating, so you just have to be creative when it comes to negotiating so you can get them to buy down your points to bring down your interest rate. And remember to buy what you can afford not what you're eligible or approved for. You do not want to be house rich and cash poor. And the third way to take advantage of this recession is by investing in yourself, starting a business. More millionaires are made during recessions. Inflation is up seven to eight percent. Unless you're getting a seven to eight percent raise at your job, you need to look into a side hustle, create a business for yourself, find a problem, create a solution, and use social media to help market your products and services. So if you had a business idea or wanted to start a side hustle, go do it. Now is the perfect time to start. Just remember, you don't have to go cold turkey and quit your day job. If this video was helpful, subscribe, leave a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And don't forget, if you have any thoughts, questions, leave it in the comments. And thank you for watching.